President Biden and Norfolk Southern working to make things right seven months after that toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. The railroad giant breaking ground on a new $20 million safety training center that will teach first responders to handle railroad track emergencies. And President Biden signing an executive, excuse me, an executive order holding Norfolk Southern accountable for that February derailment. East Palestine resident Jessica Conrad is here live with us. Jessica, I know that you have spoken with Marky on the show before and you've met Rich McHugh and others who continue to make sure that we keep this story here at News Nation front and center. But I want to ask you about uh, the latest move from President Biden. He wants a status report uh, on the air, soil, and water, and uh, FEMA to appoint a disaster recovery coordinator, and Norfolk Southern to meet a list of obligations. Uh, how are you and your neighbors feeling about that executive order? Is it a step in the right direction, or is it too little, too late? Um, first of all, thank you for having me on. It's actually Jess Conard, um, but thank you so much for, again, having me on this morning. I think for for me and my, my family, it seems like this is a very incremental change, um, but it is a step forward to have this executive order. So I am grateful for that. I think I'm curious as to how this FEMA rep is going to monitor the health and safety of the community when we do not have the proper testing, medical testing or indoor air monitoring. But let's look at it this way. If you are in a car accident, and you are not the responsible party. Are you going to go to your insurance company or are you going to go to the responsible party in order to get your medical bills paid? Most likely, if you have insurance, you're going to ask your insurance company to do that hard work for you. So I think that's what the people of East Palestine would like to see is we would like to go to our government and say, these are our unmet needs. And then the government can take up their beef with Norfolk Southern. And that's really how it should be. So, Ms. Connor, just to make sure I'm clear, following that analogy, what you're saying is you don't feel as though uh, the federal government, even with this proposal, is being a good steward and representing those who have been injured. Absolutely. I mean, again, I want to hold Norfolk Southern accountable. Absolutely. They are the responsible party. But I should not have to confront the polluter in order to get my needs met here in my community. Now, President Biden hasn't declared the derailment a disaster yet because Norfolk Southern is paying uh, to clean up this mess and help East Palestine recover. How do you and your neighbors respond to his position that the federal government and taxpayers aren't responsible when Norfolk Southern is picking up the tab? I do not feel that the taxpayers are responsible. However, I do think that we can have a uh, an exchange to where we can meet the needs of the people here, and then the government, again, can take it up with Norfolk Southern. Um, I do not want to have to confront uh, this company anymore in order to get my medical bills paid, in order to get my home value paid for. It's it's not a system that we're used to. I think that our, our federal government should be stepping up, should be providing those resources, and then the federal government should deal with the company. Ms. Connor, lawmakers were supposed to be in East Palestine today uh, for uh, a field hearing aimed at, like, providing an update on the cleanup effort. But that hearing was indefinitely postponed as representatives stay in D.C. to work on uh, avoiding a government shutdown. How do you respond to that? Do you feel like Congress uh, has their priorities straight, and, or do you feel like they continue to put issues surrounding your community on the back burner? Yeah, I, I definitely feel like we are on the back burner. And I think it, at first I was okay with that. You know, I think that it's important that we throw life rafts to Ukraine um, and to maybe other countries that are hurting. But I think what's important to understand here is that Biden was elected to take care of the American people and the American people are suffering too. So I don't understand why we can't do both. I don't, I don't really understand too much about a government shutdown, but I think ultimately we were here first and I believe that there is a, an opportunity here to make forward progress, to meet the needs of the people. And to hold Norfolk Southern responsible if they are indeed uh, the uh, ones responsible for uh, the pain that you all are feeling right now. Jessica, once again, I apologize for mispronouncing your last name. That's me transposing those R's and A's. Uh, but Jessica Connor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.